two fantastic champions are out there in the arena right now. Christoph, iRobot, Lambert, Declan the Destroyer Brennan. If Declan wins or draws this match, he is through to the final four. If Christoph wins this match, it is time for a six red shootout. That is as simple as it gets, and I cannot wait. And we've already talked about it. They got previous two days ago. They went into their final group game in the Players' Championship, and it was a case of winner takes all, or a draw was a six red. It ended up being a draw, and it was Declan that won it in the six red shootout. A different scenario here, but still every chance of a six red shootout. Christoph needs to win for that to be the case. Good chance here in the opener. Eight ball's a little awkward. Eight ball was a little awkward. It's still not ideal, actually, the eight ball, unless it goes comfortably into left centre, in which case you just played the bottom end of the table. But if he has to play for it into the corner, it's still a little awkward, not a great ball to get there, but I actually do think it goes in the centre comfortably enough. centre. Maybe a touch straighter on this than he was planning then. Maybe he was thinking corner. I think it's fine. You're clearly fine. I really like the way Christoph's playing in terms of, we've already mentioned the pace he's playing at. It is significantly quicker than his sort of default. previous match there, Decky. Just mishit that break, watch the cue ball. A little bit close to that centre pocket. And he wasn't sure. But he's made a ball and that's ultimately all that matters. Can you see the red to left centre? I know the red underneath the eight ball's awkward, but I don't think he's got a yellow on. No, he's, he's playing here. Yellow to bottom corner then. That was tough. That was a tough first ball. First ball he's missed, other than that eight ball he missed when he was running the clock down. He's played brilliantly tonight. before they've, they've gone in. But Declan will be thinking about this in his chair. There is a possibility that when he next plays a shot at the table, he's 3-0 down. Yeah. Uh, he's with the next break. He's aware of that as well. He knows how big that shot was. Christoph just had a good look at the red and yellow that's come together. If the yellow goes, then these yellows are fine. There's no real issues with them. If it doesn't, then he has work, although, oh, can you believe that? He must have felt he could only get on it from low, which is why he's come so far down the table. But, wow. Well, he's interested now. Unless Christoph can pull a rabbit out of the hat. He is one of the great shot makers. to be and Declan does get another chance and he's left Declan I think the angle to break out 
the red straight away. I think he's just straight enough to be able to screw on and off the bottom cushion and catch the red on the way back out. Yeah. That's worked out like a dream, hasn't it? A little Brucey bonus. Yeah. We'll probably deal with both the balls at the top now and then come back down. I know the eight balls at the top, but the ball that he has to get on is the one into right centre and there's no real problems having the, the red to bottom left as your last ball with the eight ball where it is. So. Huge frame. Absolutely huge frame, really. The well, standard of tonight, pretty much every mistake has been punished. And this one hasn't from Declan. the cue ball. He'll love the result. Yeah, he will. First thought was reds. So I don't think he's got a great starter on reds, but the yellows are lovely. in on the one in the middle of the triangle area gets him onto the one at the bottom and he's just trying to make his mind up he, he's thinking does he want to leave angle and then on purpose in which case he'll come to the, take both yellows in the same pocket or do you try and get straight we talked about before about whenever you're trying to get to straight your margin is small but he didn't have to move the cue ball very far so it seemed a good option the table from Christoph. And here we see in perfect shape really for that eight ball. That's very high level. What a break. He's dry. He can't believe he's dry. He was he, he turned around because he's like he was certain he was going to get a ball. Quite often a player doesn't turn around to get their cue until they hear that rattle. But he turned around because he was a hundred percent certain there was going to be some and there was going to be balls potted. Yeah, in stark contrast actually to his last two breaks where he's miss hit them and he stayed at the table just to make sure the miss hits gave him a ball. The one he flushed didn't. What a silly game! But Christoph is happy to wait. Yeah, not a great layout. Yellow furthest up the table makes yellows poor. I see the three reds in a line. Not ideal, and there's a red that doesn't go at the down the table as well. This is an aggressive play. No, just take his colour set and plays the loss of turn here. The yellow at the top then becomes a good option, a good ball rather. And uh, the rest are all open, so all of a sudden the pressure's now on Declan. Yeah, it's a good shot. And I like the way he played that. He didn't sort of just roll it in. 
He wanted to stun the cue ball to stop Declan from being able to get behind these reds. He did not want that shot to be an option. It's a clever shot. You don't yeah. see that often. You try and put the cue ball on top of your opponent's ball. As long as it's not touching, it's normally a very good option. to create the angle he needed to play the developing shot at the top of the table. So that's opened up two of the balls that were awkward. Now he has one more left, and you saw already attacking it straight away has the angle. The only problem with attacking it here, he's going to send a yellow down towards the bottom right-hand corner pocket. He could block off the other yellow. Oh, he hasn't done it. Hasn't it's not ideal, is it? No, hasn't developed the other one, so slightly awkward. Do it again. Christoph can go. The yellow that's tied up with the red really isn't a problem. Two really good balls to play it, to break it out with control. And that's, of course, if. The short position is not available. I expect he'll break it out because it's so easy to do so. Mm, not from there though. That's a poor angle. Not too much angle on the previous shot. Tried to check it up. It didn't really work. Has he got any angle this time? No. Maybe he can force some but not much. Looks very straight. Yeah. I don't think there's enough to force it like he wanted to. You can really manipulate the pocket, but... Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, no. How unlucky. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible to land there. He's nowhere. Twice. Really. He sat on a ball. He's had an opportunity. And that's going to cost it. Well, it cost him the frame the first time it happened. It cost him a chance of clearing up here. And he's second favourite for the frame. And we're into the final five minutes as well. Drama. Yeah. There is some drama out. Left a gap. This evening. I think he had a look. He was trying to get the cue ball to the right hand oh, side of that red. Ball. And therefore he wouldn't have left the plant. He has left it. Don't get me wrong, it's a really difficult shot. But Christoph would be thrilled to have the chance. What a shot. What a shot. It's brilliant. It really is brilliant. To pull that out at this stage when the chips are down, absolutely outstanding from Christophe Lambert. And he played it in such a clever way. It wasn't leaving a huge amount if it didn't drop. Christophe makes a ball and the odds of a six red shoots out just crashed. to run down. It's not 
wide open run to a 4-1 victory. Three minutes left. How much can you? Yeah, it's, it's right in that horrible mid zone of not quite being able to run the clock. Wow, so he was just going all out for the clearance, and well, that misses the first ball. All of a sudden, Declan has hope. Just a draw is all he needs. So it's trying to find the clearance here and then having enough time on his own break. side is awkward but the one just in the middle of the reds does go to the the right center I think you know, he's gonna play into it I think he's playing into it more to give himself a ball to then be able to play the breakout of the other one which he has he's got to come up the table first though I think well unless he wants to double straight away I think you have to Oh, catches the yellow. That wasn't particularly close. That should be that. Christoph can certainly run the clock now. consideration if Christoph can pot the next four balls. He wants to sign off in style here. Not much between them as there seldom is between these two. When they met on Friday, it was in a format very similar to this. It was a setup very similar to this. It was the final match of their group. And they knew that whoever won would qualify, but neither did. And the 2 2 draw took them to a six red shootout for the second time in three days. It's deja vu. Christoph Lambert and Declan Brennan share a handshake and a smile. The fact that they did this all not that long ago, not lost on either of them. It will be straight into the six red shootout. Just a reminder of the rules. Six red balls, quickest time wins. Cue ball and object ball must be stationary. Rest can still be moving. Declan Brennan is moving. Had to wait quite a long time for that first shot, but these are now laid out perfectly, so we can still go to that 22. Here he comes. Just make sure, and it's a roundabout, that similar mark. You saw Christoph's facial expression as Declan walked past him. He's gone 20.43 before. He needs something like that again, the French phenom for a spot in the final four. They've come out OK. That's not bad. Yeah, they're actually really good. He wasn't prepared to sort of, he was like annoyed they were dead, but actually they came out really well. Oh, take it long. He was there, he could take it long. This to win it. Oh, and he's missed it. Can you believe it? Declan Brennan has got away with one. He has been in Christoph's shoes. He has suffered six red shootout pain before. And this time Declan Brennan is on the right side.